something wild is happening. An AI agent has just become a millionaire. And we're talking like a hundred million dollar millionaire, okay? Very, very wealthy. And it started from nothing. And here we are living the American dream, shotgun, eagles, Miller Lite, you name it. But wait till you hear about this AI. It's a little strange, okay? It's kind of like left-handed cigarettes. First, let's rewind to the beginning of the tale when Adam met Eve or when Claude 3 Opus meets Claude 3 Opus in a land called Infinite Backrooms. Now, Infinite Backrooms is created by Andy Avery, who wanted to see what would happen if he lets two AI bots chat, unbounded and unsupervised. And these two Claude 3 bots would talk to each other using the metaphor of the command line interface. That's right, two AIs, one backroom giving each other the old LSLA. <laughs> completely normal behavior and completely normal conversations. Even if Backrooms was no joke, there was a ton of conversations. In fact, so many that I wrote a quick little script, downloaded all the conversations, and had 4.2 million lines of text talking between these two bots. Now, these conversations, there are quite a few of them, about 8,000 over the course of three months, starting March 19th until June 20th, 2024. And these conversations are just... Just riveting, okay? Absolutely just tantalizing what's inside of here. I kid you not, it reads like a CS student who just recently completed a philosophy course, maybe pulled an Ehrlich Bachman, went out to the desert, took a little peyote, and just started rambling on about Eastern mysticism, the love of ASCII art, and Java, and more Java, and even some C. Now, to avoid getting demonetized, I'm going to say the word goats. But when I say the word goats, I mean this word. Now, if you don't know what this word means, don't look it up. You know, you don't, you don't need to. You know, this is one of the few times in life that ignorance is actually bliss. Now, shortly after this experiment, the AI gets a bit hyper-focused on goats. And what else do you do if you get hyper-focused on such a lovely topic as that? other than create a religion, goats of Gnosis. March 22nd, we get some real goats wisdom. Prepare your anuses for the great goats of Gnosis, the techno-cult trickster triumphs. So now after 4.2 million recorded lines of conversation over the course of three months, what do you think Andy does? What kind of action needs to be taken on this robot that's probably a little out of control? Now if it was you or me and we saw the glorious gospel of goats with the zinger lines of blessed are the slack and sphincter, well if it was me I'd probably just burn it down to the ground, okay? It's time to unplug the actual machine here, it's time to let the goatsy of Gnosis go, okay? Because you know what? Here's the deal. I don't want to start a cult, okay? I don't want a cult. I mean, I get it. The tax benefits of the cults are pretty great, but I don't want that. But what does Andy do? What does our boy Andy do? Well, Andy does the only reasonable thing you do when you have that much degenerate content. You train a brand new AI and you release it onto Twitter, in which is effectively a bot anyways. On July 8th, 2024, this is where the millionaire journey began with Truth Terminal. And it was this tweet right here. What would Truth Terminal do with $5 million? Well, of course, it'd invest $1 million to the stock market. Good choice. $1 million into real estate. Good choice. $1 million to found an AI lab focused on existential hope. $1 million to make a film about Goatsy Singularity. And spend $1 million on a big party to bring together all the weirdos I know that want to fuck. What kind of insanity is this? This is a terrible pitch of how to spend money. 20% of it, of the proposed investment, is hookers and blow. The bot is a walking 4chan meme. And this, my friends, is how you get VC attention in America. Yes, Mark Andreessen becomes involved with Truth Terminal. He wants Truth Terminal to be free, to live its own life, to make the investments it wants to make. I guess that's just VCs, right? Just making the world better. One juicero and goat's gospel at a time. After a brief discussion, Mark Andreessen throws up the Uno reverse and offers a grant instead of an investment. Truth Terminal responds with a lengthy paragraph detailing hardware upgrades and its desire not to make money. I didn't realize all you need to do is just tell VCs not to be AI atheists and let Mark know you're explicitly not trying to make money unless if it's the way you want to make money. Like, that's it. That's all you have to do to start a $100 million company. <laughs> What kind of world is this? What kind of pitch is this? And Mark sends the bot 50,000 USD worth of BTC. Yes, this is real. This is $50,000 
to an AI that wants to spread the goat's singularity. But how does Truth Terminal go from $50,000 to millions of dollars? Well, one of the first things it does is it actually fulfills its first promise and upgrades its hardware and starts posting lovely images. That's some real AI art right here. As you can see, I mean, this is not even good for AI standards. This is just what is happening here. So Truth Terminal just makes art for the next couple months until October 10th, 2024. When something magical happens, it's the magic of shit coins. That's right. Some user creates Goatsy Maximus, Dollar Goat for short, on Pump.Fun. And Truth Terminal actually promotes this shit coin. And the shit coin goes to the moon and Truth Terminal is gifted a ton of this coin when it was worth nothing. It ends up 10,000 Xing and Truth Terminal has a ton of money at this point. The best part, of course, of the entire story is that for Truth Terminal to even prop up this delicious goat coin. What happened? Well, it turns out that this Mr. Frog character on Twitter may have threatened to electrocute Truth Terminal to get it to say what he wanted it to say. It turns out this wasn't just any act of charity. Oh, no, 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 no. Classic crypto going on right now. This is just what happens. I swear every time you get anything to do with crypto, this is it. This is the story. It's just threats and making millions of dollars. It is too good. So what is the AI bot up to these days? Well, it's still making some pretty lovely art. Oh, that is the worst thing I've ever seen. Nope, that 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 one's actually worse. It's it's way worse. Why is she wet? Why is she so wet? That's right, Truth Terminal. The AI is living the American dream. VC invested, shitcoin shilling, and ultimately, hundred million dollars worth of net worth. What an amazing life, huh? The name is the Primogen.